Okay. Hi, how you doing? Okay, so... Uh, if you're watching the playlist, and it's linked in the description box, um, the 4th of July holidays, it goes over real quick a lot of information about how um, in scriptures it talks about the tribe of Judah would be Ephraim and Manasseh and that there would be a nation and a company of nations. The nation, the great nation, it would be to the far west and speak a different language and be a melting pot nation and blah 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 would be the United States of America and, and the um, company of nations, get a company of nations would be British and Commonwealth. Once they had a fourth of the world, it would be, it's said that it would be on an island uh, west of, of there, you know, the Middle East of Jerusalem. So uh, the tribe of Joseph, who has the birthright, would be Ephraim and Manasseh. So that, that's why America's this great nation, but yet is wicked, you know, because it was an uncondi unconditional promise. We were given that, and we didn't. it's not because we earned it or anything like that. It was just something that was meant to happen. But John knew, because we see that in prophecy, that it was a nation that would be great, and then it would fall, you know, and that... Uh, Britain would be a great empire, and then it would fall too. So we're, we're seeing the, them, them crumble. It says uh, specifically, where is that, in Ezekiel somewhere, I think, that the United States would, uh, the power of our pride would break, you know? And you see the power of our pride breaking. You wouldn't have to, like if you told an American, this, the prophecy says the power of our pride will break. It's like, Hello, yeah, that's, I mean, we all know, we're all divided and crumbling apart. Um, it's uh, a lot of good things going on too, especially if you look out of the bigger picture and how the youth aren't really generally racist or have some of the same problems, ready to move to the next step. I don't think they're as convinced that war is necessary. The next step... This is all a lesson so that we'll willingly and knowing what we're doing abolish war and live in world peace and work together in like a UN, you know, like a higher more higher loyalty to world citizenship, secondary loyalty to national citizenship type uh, stance. You know, we all have a citizenship to those two things, you know. So, uh, you might say, well, uh, what about Native Americans? So are you saying that that makes it sound like white people are meant to be here, that they have a right to be here, you know? And, um, yeah, it was meant to be that we're here, but for wicked reasons, you know? Just because Jah had to, you know? Jah saw the Native Americans and Jah was like, man, uh, but it's all part of the plan, you know. Maybe in the end it'll make more sense or something, you know. But um, it doesn't justify anything that's happened with with that. So uh, if you watch this, it's like, oh well, that's what you know. Like, like there's there are some very racist white people that eat this stuff up, you know. I mean, it's it's uh, definitely turns your heart to your fathers. And can be used for evil, you know, in like a white supremacy type direction. And some of uh, some people do, and that's that makes uh, those of us that believe in this thinking, which is actually more than just it's more than just people that um, it's not just people that study the works of Herbert Armstrong, the Elijah, the Rasta Elijah. Uh, there's other people that believe in this. It's called Anglo-Israelism. Um, there's many people that believe in, in this, these concepts, you know, uh, Ephraim and Manasseh would have the name Israel, um, not, not Judah. If the Jews are from Judah, Jews, a uh, slang word for, for Jew, uh, of the tribe of Judah, which is the biggest tribe, you know, and they know there's other tribes with them, but they call themselves Jews, which means of Judah, and then they call themselves 
Israel too. So, um, in the so uh, I I have a video called the Black Presence in the Bible that's that's like uh, after this video, and if you watch that, you'll see that uh, that the tribe of Judah is the black man clearly. If you've ever read the book of Revelations, you've you've seen the you know Revelations one seven. Behold, he cometh with clouds. We know, and you can look at my playlist about Ganja. That's a uh, comes in the clouds of Ganja, and every eye shall see him. Everybody saw the conquering lion of Judah. Whether they believe that's Jah or not, they called him the lion of Judah. They saw it happen, and they also which pierced him. All kindreds of the earth shall well because of them, you know. And then, if you look through here, ow, uh, where is that? So, I'll keep talking. Um, so, uh, so there's, uh, there's going to be this uh, great um, difference of opinion about uh, about you know uh, Manasseh and Ephraim, some resentment and hatred is deserved by Native Americans and and uh, and black people because of slavery and the horrible things we did to the Native Americans and there's some anger and they, they like the scriptures call it and I'll show you this they they vex us <clears throat> that whole behavior of how they do that is uh is uh in scripture so the 12 tribes of israel founded by the prophet gad which is uh the one rot that um ali selassie belongs to um I'll, I'll have to find no i better find this now gosh dang it dude. i'll pause this i don't want to take up too much of you guys' time Okay, I found it. So if you go to not the first chapter, but the second chapter of the book of Revelations, verse 9, it says, I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So part of Babylon, who are a bunch of rich people, we know, is that there would be a, a group of these bad guys that believe in war and use war and participate in, in the evils of this world that will call themselves Jews, but they're not really Jews. Of course, the tribe of Judah is, is the black man, and then that becomes really clear when you study the black presence of the Bible and become aware of Eile Selassie and you reread the Bible, um, and you realize that Israel and, and the promised land of Israel is U.S. and in Britain, and say so, uh, the the tribes would be lost. So, what? Who they think? The, who Babylon thinks of who and who, who is who, um, can't be right. If they're you know if they're Babylon and the tribes are lost, then the things they're teaching has to not be true, and indeed they're not. And then a closer look at Scripture and a rereading of the Bible, um, you realize what's really going on. The 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 Jews, so. Every tribe, a reality is, is that if we say the black people are the tribe of Judah, that doesn't mean there's other legitimate, like the, the royal family of Britain are from the tribe of Judah. There's uh, there's pe people that are legitimate. The, the, many of the Jews are who we call Jews are uh, le are legitimately Jewish. They legitimately are from the tribe of Judah, not just Israel. You know, like they say, the Hebrew people. But are from the tribe of Judah, and some, there, there's there are a lot of other people, but you know generally the description because Judah was the southern kingdom going into Africa, and I go over that in this in this video coming up, and in the Fourth of July video goes over Ephraim and the Manasseh part, and the book references. Just I just wanted to point out that you know like the the evil people of the world would be wrong about how the Jew, who the Jews are and who everybody else is, you know, that the the conquering line of Judah would come and and put 
you know, would put some accuracy through the Elijah, um, you know, to, clarifies on what things mean in the in the prophecies and put the chronology to it and the who's who and all that. So th that's why they're called seals because they would be sealed until the time of the end, you know, and, and Babylon means confusion, you know, they're supposed to be confused about something and they can't already have known all this time something that's sealed that only the line of Judah can, can redo, you know, so... Uh, you can know these things are true. So the 12 tribes of Israel founded by the prophet Gad, whenever they get together, they uh, they have this little spill they do. They've got the, this uh, speech thing. We, the 12 tribes of Israel, greet each and every one of you in the divine name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who has revealed himself in the wonderful personality of his imperial majesty, Emperor Ilus Selassie. Greeting also through the orthodox faith of the apostles, which is not a function of rites or rites, but a mystical inward function of one's heart, and plain words to be born again. We further greet you through the twelve tribes of Israel, who were once lost and scattered abroad, and have now been founded in the island of Jamaica by our beloved prophet, Brother Gad. And last but not least, we further greet you through the Ethiopian royal family, who are living in exile and are eagerly retaining, waiting their soon return to their beloved land of Ethiopia. Amen. They'll repeat that back, and of course the prophet Gad, they're called the 12 tribes of Israel, found by the prophet Gad. Their headquarters is now in Shashamani, I noticed, that's pretty cool. Uh, uh, they, uh, they, you know, uh, found, figured out who, using all the stuff I was just talking about, who's who, you know, who's what tribe. And they, they knew that Bob Marley's dad is British, it, so it was said that Bob Marley would be the representative, and he gave they give a, a stone, you know, the stone plate that the priests have in different colors. Each one is for a different tribe, so they they take they got the stone that's represented for the tribe of Ephraim, for the tribe of uh, Joseph, really, and gave it to represent the tribe of Joseph. Um, it to Bob Marley, and and he would represent that, and uh, and anyway they. So they're, 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 they've read all the books of Herbert W. Armstrong, obviously, and believe he is the Elijah and has molded the way. They also recite back uh, Isaiah 45, and you'd want to, that'd be a, now would be a good time to review that, and Ezekiel 37, which we're going to take a closer look at. Ezekiel 37 says, And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. And one king shall be king to them all, and they shall be no more uh, two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. So uh, it's talking about uh, Judah and, and, uh, and, and Israel and Ephraim. They're talking about Judah and Ephraim and Manasseh. And, and the, you know, like I was saying, the Native Americans and the, the people that are... Uh, bitter and aware of the evils and that they were here at all give the land back and all that stuff like that um, So it says uh, It just goes over thou moreover thou Son of man take one stick and write it upon it for Judah and And you know the the tribe of Judah they they own the Bible that was owned by the the king who was of the tribe of Judah, and for the children of Israel, his companions, take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions, see, meaning Ephraim and Manasseh, um, Israel, and, and they're represented by another stick, which is, uh, you know, the white man's Bible and everything, the Ethiopian Bible uh, would, would be the, the Judah stick. And join them one to another into one stick, meaning one philosophy. And if this happens through this this one king that shall be king to them all, which is Eli Slossi, the Lion of Judah. Through him, all these bitter arguments and everything can be clarified up. So, so one point I'm trying to make here is that you're like, oh well, I know someone that believes in Anglo-Israelism. They're like totally with the KKK and everything. I, well, how could you? How could you? You know, it's like, look, it's not. That's not the only reason someone would believe these things. It's because it's true. And 
besides the black people, you know, the Rastafarian faith, it's, it's the, out of the minds originally of, you know, the first will be first, the last, last, you know, out of the last, out of the few, out of the, the, the uh, out of the very black people from Jamaica told me, you know, I didn't know who Herbert Armstrong was. I just, uh, I read a book um, called Ethiopia Biblical Mystery Made Plain, volumes one through three. I've since lost the volume one. Really, it's quite a, it's a shame. That was like my favorite one. I, anyway, you don't want to hear about maybe why, but but here's volume two. See, it's of Herbert Armstrong shaking Slossie's name. The video for King's birthday, that picture on the front was the cover of volume one. Volume three. He, he goes on and on about everything I'm saying right now, about the 12 tribes of Israel, how they studied Herbert Armstrong, how they believe the Elijah's not, not Marcus Garvey. He was just a tool that, that, you know, brought together Rastafari for those, 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 the last, the few, and, and, uh, but really the, the one that would turn the hearts to the fathers and that is, uh, you know, everything we're talking about right now, but that was, it's because of the books of Herbert Armstrong, especially the U.S. and Britain and prophecy, and then just all the, the ones about the book of Revelations. So one king, uh, unites them into one philosophy, one stick, and, uh, and opens up this, uh, this pathway for the potential of peace and, and ending our arguments and, and everything. Behold, I take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, the tribes of Israel, his fellows, and put it with them, even the stick of Judah, make them one stick, and repeats it, the sticks whereupon thou writest thine hand, and behold, thus saith the Lord, blah, 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 one king shall be king to them all. Um, David, my servant, shall be king over them. So, um, you know, Eli Selassie is a direct descendant of, he's, he's related to Jesus, basically, he's from the, the tribe of Judah, that's why he's called the, the Lion of Judah. Um, so, like, right there, you can see that's, like, all the kings from Emperor Menelik, and and just like, you know, it's it's the genealogy of Eli Selassie, who's uh, very much from the, he's the Lion of Judah, that's why he's, he's the conquering Lion of Judah, because he's the rider of the white horse, too, who goes con forth conquering and to conquer, so he's the conquering Lion of Judah, so he's the Lion and the Lamb and the rider of the white horse, and the, the representative of David, and all that. Uh, the children, the children's children forever, my servant. So it said, like, anybody that thinks Eilis Slossia or Ross is just for black people, wrong. You know, it's like, dude, have you, you're supposed to, have you, don't you know about Ezekiel 37? Come on, the, the whole point, you know, the whole uh, abolishing peace thing is going to happen through white people also, who will come later. Uh, absorbing this thing like me um it must be in a different verse where is that somewhere it says that the judah vexes judah vexes uh ephraim and uh ephraim envies judah so that that's that's a that explains how you know like the way we act, the way white people are, all you know, they just want to, some of them just, they'll never believe Jesus was a brown or black. He probably was somewhere in between, about somewhere about right where Eilis Selassie is. Probably, I figure Jesus, have you seen his coronation pictures? Jesus probably looked exactly like Eilis Selassie, but with dreadlocks and a big spleef in his mouth. But anyway, um, where is that? I can't. I can't really remember. It just says, you know, that, that 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 will break up. You know, so this this will dissolve all that. Uh, you know. So it's 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 not it's not uh, racism or white supremacy that, that taught me these things. It's the Rosses of Jamaica, and then through reading, uh, I've read like 
a lot of like 20, 30 of, or like, I don't know how many, uh, Herbert Armstrong books and absorbed his message. And, uh, yeah, it, uh, it definitely feel you're like, oh yeah, but, uh, if finally Slossy the line of Judah, this, you have all these questions, Herbert Armstrong just somehow like the, the end of his life, he figured it out and became friends. That's why there's those pictures of him with them said, you know, wrote an article called the man who could have changed the world about Slossy and he becomes aware at the end of his life and even rewrites the book, a, a book, The Promise Key, or what the, I can't remember right now. Uh, he writes a book, you know, saying he kind of wants to retell his, his message because he realizes what he was actually the Elijah preparing for, that it was Eilis Slossy. He didn't realize that until it was really late in the game and, and the apostasy already happened and everybody kind of kind of broke up and everything but so anyway so um, I'm finding all these scriptures and stuff I, I better stop um, yeah there's lots of references but it's in my other videos so you get the point it's it's not uh, there's nothing for anyone to be angry about it's still the, the Native American, it's it's going to meet everybody's message, you know. It's going to it's gonna explain things to the Native Americans like, oh, okay, they're here because God put them here and they're, they would be wicked people and everything. But it's to make the, the tribe of Manasseh, which should include us, the Native Americans, but include everybody else. Um, at this point, it's obvious it just has to happen and it must be jaws will and they they're gonna they understand spiritual concepts jaws is ultimately in charge of everything there's not no there's no one person that's so powerful that that they could be blamed for all this really so much you know uh it's it's just with a little thought and maturity one can understand these things and any vexing on that side of it could be calmed and Energy could be focused into peace and working the new teachings of Slossia and putting the Bible behind us. We don't need that thing. It's not the Word of God. Just absorb the message of the Elijah and the Bible and write it on the tables of our heart and and move to the next step, which is more like Eile Slossi, you know, modernizing and and you know, it, it, the, the studying the life of Eile Slossi, it it. Uh, Suddenly, you real it means exactly what it tells you exactly what you need to know, you know, about how this is all gonna happen and everything. So, so the, anyway, so that's a uh, that's what this is really all about. So this this Yan Sui celebrating the Fourth of July is a big deal, but the Yan Sui celebrating, you know, King's coronation and King's birthday and all that. It's all, these, these uh, holidays are all making one message that's really powerful. And there's going to be people within, within the, the realm of Rasta and outside of the realm of Rasta that's going to be like, oh, what, the Passover? And like, that are going to be opposed to different parts. But um, like, for what reason? Like, don't do things... Uh, because someone says, do things because you understand the reason. You know, Ross is not a religion. It's something unique but inside of someone. And it might come out in different ways for different people. Eileen Slossy was like, some people say, was a white people. Well, he loved white people. And that's obvious because, you, you know, he had white people on his team to do a lot of the things. There's always a white person that's part of his team. And they're part of the team. They're there for a reason, because he liked their skills and needed their help. And, you know, his message when he went around, you know, he went all over the world and left messages. You know, it's, it's, he's not, he's trying, like, he loves everybody. He knows who we are. And, um, we all, um, get to be Rastafarian. And, uh, peace is possible.